Hi everyone, Mark here from AmericanAeration.com and in this video I want to go over some of the new solar pond aeration options that we have available for 2024. We've added six new units to the lineup and some of these are very exciting and we'll get to those in just a minute. I want you to think about staying till the very end of this video because I will go over some key tips that you'll want to know in setting up a solar aerator for your pond and also ways that you can save thousands of dollars potentially if you're dealing with a remote power situation and you're considering using solar powered aerators to help improve your pond. So stay tuned for that. We've added six new models uh, to our existing line of solar aerators and this takes our our complete lineup out to 15 models to choose from. This includes systems that are both direct drive, which is daytime only operators, and fully supported, battery supported systems that can run 24-7, which uh, really rounds out the systems, I think. Airmax has brought out a direct drive solar aerator, as well as a battery supported model, and a solar powered fountain, which is proving to be quite popular. The Night Air line has added three new models which are all battery supported for 24-7 operation so we'll talk more about those specifically in this video. They are in addition to our established setup which is based using US solar systems those are direct drive systems and then the solar aerators which are battery supported. We've had those for a handful of years now. Starting off with the Airmax, let's talk about their direct drive aerator. Again, this is a daytime only operator. Uh, there is no batteries involved and it will work shortly after sunup to shortly before sundown. Typically, you can expect 12 plus hours of operation, especially through the summer months when the days are longer. The system has two diffusers in it, so it can cover up to two acres maximum. As we've talked many times before, if you can get a diffuser down to about 12 feet or greater, it will cover about an acre of pond area. If you lose depth, you would lose coverage. So typically you could see this used in anything probably from about a half acre on up to two acres in size. It can handle 20 feet of max depth, which is excellent for a system like this. It uses a 24 volt direct current motor. It puts out two cubic feet per minute of air, which is pretty standard for these solar aerators these days. Very competitive, very up to speed, and, and very equivalent to what you see in pretty much any of the systems on the market. It has two Pro Air 2 diffusers, two stick diffusers, and then the warranty is three years on the pump, most of the major components. They have five years on the airline and diffuser, and then a 25-year warranty on the solar panels. The sound output, which is Pretty important for some people is around 40 to 50 decibels at about five feet away which is pretty quiet. Airmax also brought out a battery supported model very comparable to what we just talked about again you can cover up to two acres with it 20 foot max depth. Difference is you can run this out 24 hours a day typically it will have uh, full run time no matter the conditions batteries are two 12 volt AGMs and then the pump is the same, two CFM output for the pump, which is good. Air diffusers are uh, two of the Pro Air, two stick diffusers. The warranty is the same, except in addition to the standard, you've got one year on the batteries against manufacturing defects and issues. Sound output, again, is around 45 to 50 decibels at five feet away. This particular system is the one that has me most excited because its price point is extremely competitive to the full-time operators. Um, we're starting to see more, thankfully, options in these battery-supported systems. They have traditionally been pretty pricey because I think of, for the most part, of limited competition, but this particular model is one of the best price points I've seen in the type of ponds that it could cover. So I am finding myself more and more recommending this, this to people where it fits the best. And particularly what I like about the full-time operation is when you have fish involved, oftentimes the lowest period in a 24-hour cycle in a pond environment when oxygen is at its lowest will be overnight. And so traditionally, although I like the direct drive systems, they are certainly 
more preferable to me than windmills, for example. If I have the capability to run 24-7, I will always try to do that first if it's within my ways and means to do so. So this particular aerator offers a very good option for many people at a pretty reasonable price point when you look at the market as a whole. So next up, we'll talk about the new Air Max fountain. This is a direct drive fountain. It will work daylight only. Uh, it is powered by two solar panels, excuse me, four solar panels, and it can be used in ponds up to about a half acre in size. It is equivalent to their half horsepower EcoStream fountain, which has been very popular over the years. You'll get 12 plus hours of runtime per day, especially in the summer months. Minimum operational depth of this fountain is 36 inches, so it can be used in pretty shallow water. It has a maximum spray height of 14 feet, and there are three different spray patterns included with this, so you get a lot of different looks out of the same fountain. Have a three-year warranty overall on all the components in the fountain and a 25-year warranty on the solar panel. So it is a really neat thing to see where a very good, well-built operational fountain is being brought to market and powered by solar. That's a, a great thing to see. Moving on to the Night Air line of aerators. Night Air 1 is a battery supported system. It has a single diffuser and it is good for ponds up to one acre in size. As I've said before, if you can get that diffuser down to 12 feet or deeper, it will cover up to an acre or a little bit more. If you lose a little bit of depth, you're gonna to have to use it in a slightly smaller pond than one acre, but it can work in most any pond from a quarter acre on up to one acre. Again, we've got a 20 foot max operational depth, which is pretty good. Two panels producing 600 watts two deep cycle AGM batteries. We've got a 24 volt DC pump. Again, we're in that two CFM range at 2.2 CFMs. It's actually rated as one of the better performers in the solar pump aeration lines. Uh, a single dual plate diffuser is included, 100 feet of half inch weighted airline, and then it has a two year, five year, and 15 year warranty. That would be two years on the pump and major components, five years on the airline. I believe it's 15 years on the diffuser and then you've got a lifetime warranty on the cabinet. The Night Air 2 is also battery supported for ponds up to two acres in size. Again, a 20 foot max depth, uh, 600 watts of power, two deep cycle AGM batteries. It's still using a 24 volt single DC pump at 2.2 CFMs. You've got two single plate diffusers this time, which allow you to spread that air release out in a much wider area. 200 feet of half inch weighted airline and again the warranty is the same as mentioned with the Night Air 1. And then we have the Night Air 3 which is a three diffuser system. Again all of the specs are very similar. Single diffusers, three of them are included with this kit and again you are basically using multiple diffusers to spread the release of air out on a much broader scale. On larger ponds that, or more shallow ponds, you typically want to use multiple diffusers and you want to spread them out to be able to circulate the, the vast majority of the pond volume, turning it over. Uh, and a single diffuser, in some cases, let's say you have an elongated pond that's really stretched out, it just simply won't affect the entire water body, but when you spread the release points out, you get a better effect. And this comes with 500 feet of half inch weighted airline included. And then again, the warranty is the same as the other night air systems we just talked about. The night airs in particular, I think are extremely well made. They are said to be excellent performers by the people that have worked with them on a regular basis. They're new for us this year, but they are spoken of very highly. Unfortunately, at least with the current pricing that I'm seeing, the Night Air 3 that you're looking at is actually the best value when you compare it to the competition like the Solar systems. It's very cost competitive in, in, at that level, but there are definitely some differences to it, and perhaps we'll do another video comparing those head to head, but um, it is always good to see options coming out, giving people the opportunity to choose something that fits their needs the best, and uh, the Solar aeration lineups in the past have been far more limited than I'd like to see. And so across the board, these new aerators are a great addition 
to the market as a whole. And we've certainly enjoyed, you know, having them and talking to people about them because uh, particularly when people do their due diligence and they fit one of these right to the ponds that they have, they're usually very happy with them. I want to go over very quickly before we close out a couple things to think about when you're choosing a solar pond aerator. So first and foremost, I'm not a, a, an accountant or a tax advisor, but typically you should look into the solar tax credit if you make a purchase of one of these systems. Uh, for 2024, I do know that it's a 30% tax credit. Check with your accountant or tax preparer. See what you can get in terms of benefit there, but you should find some benefit on that solar tax credit. Now, my, my order of preference for alternative power aerators, I've done a video on this more comprehensively, but very quickly, we have windmills and we have solar aerators and the different types of solar aerators, which we talked about here. My order of preference is always to run as long and consistently as I can in my day-to-day -day cycle. In other words, 24-7 is the gold. If I have power, usually anywhere within a thousand feet of the pond, I'm going to actually consider looking at running a burial airline from my pump, which is by my electrical, and I will run a burial airline to the pond edge and then work from there to get the weighted airlines in there and diffusers at the bottom. And I can operate very effectively even at a distance if power isn't right by the pond. And the goal is I can run 24-7. Also, typically these setups are less expensive than solar aerators would tend to be. But if you don't have power anywhere close, my next choice would be a battery-supported solar system for full-time operation. That's the gold. If fish are involved in the equation, very important to you, you really want to consider full-time operation. Next best, in my opinion, would be the direct drive solar because they will operate every day consistently usually through the daylight hours to the point that you can run dawn till dusk and in the summer that's a pretty good long run time. Windmills would be my third choice and my only issue with windmills is except for some very specific circumstances when winds are strong and consistent, mostly consistent is the key word here, a lot of people get the windmills and they are unhappy with their consistency. Their inconsistent operation would be their biggest issue because if you have no wind, you have no air. And typically that's a real bad time to lose the air in very hot, stifling, windless conditions. So they're better than nothing. They give an alternative for people that have no power nearby, but they're not my top choice. So uh, that's kind of the rundown on my order of preference with those things. Now cost is also a factor to consider because solar aerators are going to cost more. Battery supported solar aerators are going to cost more than direct drive. Both of those cost more than a windmill and all of them cost more than a typical standard plug and run system that you see uh, offered as standard kits on our website. So cost is a factor. You do the best you can with the budget you have, but focus on getting something that will fit into the budget, but give you the longest runtime and most consistent operation possible. Obviously, when you want to get an aerator size for your pond properly, and I see this over and over again, and I can't emphasize it enough, before you really lock into something, I want you to double check the depth ranges that you have in that pond. No matter who you go to, whether you go to me or any other uh, reputable dealer online or an expert on aeration, they have to have good specifications to work with. We can always get the pond size and shape off Google Earth, but we cannot see the depth. You need to verify the depth that you're working with because it is a critical factor, a critical number in figuring out how many diffusers you need and what size of pump you need and how many times you want to turn this pond over on a regular basis on a 24-hour cycle. We need to know the depths, and they need to be accurate for you to get the best aerator for your pond. When you introduce an aerator, no matter whether it's solar or otherwise, you want to do so slowly, especially in older established ponds with fish. Uh, they will all stir up things from the bottom. They will all start to turn the pond over a bit, and that's normal. That's desirable, but if it happens too quickly in conditions that are very, very harsh for fish, very hot conditions, um, very old ponds with old established muck, 
you have to go very slowly. And so the startup process is the same for all of them. Probably 20 minutes the first day, shut the system off. Run it 40 minutes the second day, shut it off. Double your run time each day up to the point where you're up to 24-7 operation or as long as you can operate with whatever system that you have. And then you've basically safely introduce the aerator into your pond environment and everybody should be benefiting from that after a bit of operating time. You want to practice good maintenance on these aerators. Again, no matter what kind you're working with, diffusers should probably be cleaned once a year to have optimal performance out of them. You want to uh, make sure you change the air fil filters. The air intake filter on the pump needs to be monitored and changed as needed. Typically for most people that might be every six months to a year if the area isn't very dusty around the pond and around the pump. But if it is a very dusty area or dirty area, and ideally you shouldn't have the pumps in a real dirty area, but uh, I've had some industrial settings where they need to change the filters every three months. So practice good maintenance and you'll get the best performance and best longevity out of whatever system you have. And then finally, as I said earlier, just as a reminder, as much as I love alternative energy aerators, it's good to have these options available for people now where we at one time didn't have anything like that really uh, that was worth choosing. If you have power within a, within a thousand feet of the pond, consider a standard aeration setup with a few minor adaptions using a burial airline or tubing. We do this a lot, and I want to make sure people know that this is available. It's a very doable thing, and the systems work great. Price is very reasonable, especially compared to the solars, and you are able to get 24-7 operation out of it, which all of these things are desirable. So uh, remember that that is an option and that you are not necessarily relegated to an alternative energy aerator in every case. So I hope that information helps. If you have other questions come up, if you need help with your pond or choosing a pond aerator, reach out to me. My name is Mark, and I'm at AmericanAeration.com. I'll be happy to help, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.